Do you have a case of the what ifs? How do you get out of the what if stage and into taking action? Let's talk about it now. I'm your host, Jennifer Dono. I'm going to be hosting this episode of YFE Chat. This is episode 121, and it is brought to you by MailChimp. MailChimp is the best way to design, send, and share email newsletters. You can get started today for free at MailChimp.com. And of course, make sure that you sign up for our mailing list at yfe.me forward slash mailed it. Uh, so really fast, in September, our daily action calendar, which I know a lot of you are members of, we're going to open it up to everyone in September. I'm going to send everyone out the September action sheets just that one month. We have 365 action sheets in total and I'm going to send out September's to everyone and so everyone can participate in the action having that happens in September. You can find out more about the action calendar at dailyactioncalendar.com. That's a great way to meet other young female entrepreneurs and keep moving forward in the month of September, which is often a like a new year kind of a feel for a lot of young female entrepreneurs because we're used to the whole school system and that this time of year things are starting fresh with its fall or whatever. So I am excited about tonight's because a lot of people that are on live will notice that this is a new format. We're just starting out with the first 15 minutes that we did from 6 to 6.15 was networking and I was checking out your tweets and talking about what it is that we were changing. And so for the next couple weeks, we'll just test out different things. Uh, so on the back, you can see some tweets. I'll try and pop it up over here too so you can see what we're all talking about. Um, but basically show up live on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. First 15 minutes is networking and fun when we have a guest on. I was explaining to them, to everyone that showed up live that beforehand, uh, that it is all about the guests getting context, getting to meet you, you meeting one another, because it's peer-to-peer -peer mentorship, which is what young female entrepreneurs is about. And one of the frustrating things beforehand is when I had that guest on, not only was it kind of long, drawn out type of a thing, and I didn't get to feature a whole lot of young female entrepreneurs, but it was also crazy difficult for me to follow up on what was happening in chat. And as a young female entrepreneur and a mother of two tiny boys, I crave conversation. So I want to participate in the Twitter chat too. So we're going to have to see how I can incorporate everything. And next Thursday, I'm going to work in how I can take those 15 minutes beforehand and bring it into the live webcast using Tagboard, which, um, again, interesting. So tweet me at Jennifer Donnell. I'll put my Twitter handle up here if you're watching it on video on YouTube or on iTunes. We're also in audio format on iTunes. Um, tweet me at Jennifer Dono and give me your feedback on how I can do this and your ideas because uh, this is all about meeting other young female entrepreneurs, being inspired and getting advice where we can. So apart from that, another cool thing that's happening in September before we get into the topic of today's conversation, which I don't believe I mentioned, sorry guys, is what ifs. Before we get into what ifs, we're going to talk about um, the book club, which you're probably all like, what the heck is happening? Because your cover says it's starting in June. <laughs> starting in September. And our book is Girl Boss. And I'm really excited to read this one. I love the cover. It's pink and I love the illustrations in it and I love the quotes and I love the story behind it. So the different format for the book club, changing things up, is that you read the entire book before we discuss it at the end of September. And the way that we're discussing it is that I'm going to be soliciting Google Hangout leaders and the Google Hangout leader will have a, a, a certain amount of information or um, they're going to have a couple like Q&A type question things and stuff to collect. And so you'll have all the materials that you'll be able to lead the conversation with and it gets recorded and we put it up or maybe it doesn't get recorded and we just lose it and it's just your chance to to talk to one another. But it's I thought that would be a much better and more productive use of everyone's time versus having to go into Facebook every day and check into the group. So anyway, so that's what's happening. Read the book and then in September we'll get into discussing it via Google Hangouts. So I'm really excited about that and uh, it'll be fun. So let's go ahead and get into tonight's topic, which is the what ifs conversation. And this is going to go up until 630. So we've got eight minutes to talk about the what ifs. 
are you in a state of what if? Because I am. I'm in a total state of what ifs and it's driving me crazy. I don't know. I mean, even more so than having, I'm at home all day with a four-year-old and a three and a half month old. And the what ifs are eating away at my brain. Like, so we're going to talk about what if I start? We're going to talk about what if I change? What if I grow and what if I quit? So that, I think those are pretty accurate stages of the what ifs for an entrepreneur. So the first one is what if I start? And it's funny because my husband and I have had this idea that we've wanted to do it with a business um, for the last six months. And it's eating away at my brain. And I think that a lot of you can relate because I get your emails that listening to wifey chatter or listening to a certain person that was a guest really inspired you to actually get started. So I can totally relate to where you are. It's going to be really interesting for me um, to see how I move out of this what if I start kind of stage or if I do but one of the things I wanted to bring up as far as how to get out of the what if I start stage and into actually making action it's funny because how many of you guys uh participate in tut the um, tut emails I forget what that stands for one of you will know what it stands for oh wait so anyway there's a tut email that I got that I thought was totally um uh, applicable for this and that is that where did it go here it is a uh, question to ask yourself each morning Jen that really lights fires gongs bells and summons resources is what little mortal baby steps can I take today that will demonstrate expectancy prepare for my dreams manifestation and above all plays me within reach of life's magic please Jen ask this question and then take those steps and I promise you'll go down in history as a giant among your kind it's never too late Signed, the universe. So do you guys subscribe to this email? It's a lot of fun. So, oh, we are Ask Vasavi enthusiasts and tend to avoid the what if. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting distracted because Ask Vasavi is uh, one of my favorite people. And we have her YFV chat. We have her on for two episodes. So make sure that you check her out. And yes, she's fantastic. So anyway, um, the what if I get started kind of a thing. I like this idea of taking baby steps. What baby steps can we take? And my husband and I, because the field that we're interested in getting started in is one that neither one of us really understands at all. We went to this industry get together and just to find out more. And I talked to a couple people about uh, the idea of getting started. So we shared our idea and said, what do you think basically? And these professionals Three out of four of them said to read The Lean Startup, which I have over on the bookshelf. And it's so funny. The guy's like, you know what? You need to read the, a book. It's called The Lean Startup. It's by a man named Eric Reese. And to that, I wanted to look at them and be like, do you know who I am? <laughs> Just totally. It's not a very humble thing to say. But I don't mean that in that, you know, I'm some big important person. I just mean that I live in this space. I live in the lean startup space, whether it's through YFE chat or if it's through my work with the with live webcasting. I listen to a lot of big, um, you know, awesome entrepreneurs and I bring them in through uh, webcasting for as our clients working with brands and I get to hear them speak about this and it's all the lean startup is no joke you guys you know this is something that I heard like I said three out of four times they said get this book this is the same thing that the tut email is saying baby steps what can you do today that will allow you to measure the ROI that with no money with no real commitment into it that you can just test out the idea and decide whether or not you should really start and then you won't be killing yourself asking is this really a good thing to get going because another thing that's scary as a young person is to put this idea out there and get started and go full force put tons of money into it or not but just commit to it and tell the public yes I'm starting this and then to decide halfway through that you either hate it or that nobody really cares about it or that you can't make money so anyway that's two things that I would recommend first of all uh, sign up for the TET emails, which I think are gold, TET.com. And then also uh, read Lean Startup. If you've been watching this show and you haven't read the Lean Startup, something is wrong with you. Just read it, okay? <laughs> if you don't want to pay the money and buy the book because you are so, that lean, <laughs> you can go to the leanstartup.com and uh, find out more. So anyway, that's the what if I start stage, which is kind of where I'm at right now. 
Um, what if I change is a stage I've just been in. Um, and for that, I would just suggest, and this is, I can speak from personal experience. Um, I would say, look at the problem you're solving. Like seriously, look at the problem you're solving. And a lot of people could say, oh, there doesn't need to be a problem because, you know, you're just um, out there doing, living your passion or whatever it is. If there's not a problem, there's not a guarantee that the money will follow. And even if there's a problem, there is, again, no guarantee the money will follow. follow. But you're really screwing yourself over if you're not solving a problem. <laughs> you need to go out there and serve people and really think about what is, what is the problem that I'm solving. And here's a couple of things. This is my recommendation if you're in the stage to start moving forward. Um, Stacy Harris, I cannot believe you have not read The Lean Startup. Stacey Harris was my co-host, people, and I don't, I, if you've been watching YFE or listening to YFE chat for some time, you know that we talk about this all the time. Stacey, silly. So anyway, uh, going back to my point right here was that um, you need to watch past episodes of Shark Tank on Hulu. Go to Hulu.com and watch past episodes re-watch them if you haven't but watch them not in the mindset of entertainment but I actually think that the investors are talking to you I started to do this when I was watching it and there was something Barbara Corcoran said and I forget which episode it is I forget what she said but it really hit me I felt like she was talking directly to me and uh but they offer a lot of feedback like that and some of the things that I have thought about based off of Shark Tank reruns are what is the problem you're solving and is it solving the problem problem in a way that matters that people want and that doesn't cause them to create new habits this is something i heard an entrepreneur that i brought on to a webcast speak on you don't want people to have to create new habits because that's almost impossible a lot of us know this right so if you want to create a new habit of working out early in the morning you know that it is hell trying to actually get up in early in the morning if you're not used to that so don't make people create a new habit. Change the habit that they're already in. So if they're already used to working out in the morning from 6 to 6.30, have them do an extra like workout. Speak to those people and that kind of a thing. So just change the habit that they're already in versus creating a new one. And so anyway, uh, look at those things the problem specifically about what you can change and if you're following the lean startup methodology you know that you should pivot so whether it's changing a business completely changing the name changing the logo changing uh, the services that you offer based on the problem that you're solving whatever it is you'll know to change by going back to that root uh, thing of what's the problem so the third one is what if i grow what if you grow what are your values is the big thing. And uh, Robin Fisher Roffer, which you know I've talked about a number of times on this um, program. You can go to YFE, YFE's YouTube channel below hand, here and subscribe, of course, and look for uh, past episodes. But you know I've talked about this before. Robin Fisher Roffer's um, Make a Name for Yourself is a great book because it talks about what it is that you value. And she sets forward actual like words that you can use uh, to identify because if someone says what do you value I think it's a hard starting off point to actually decide what it is your va you value I like that she kind of gives you a framework to work with it's a very simple book that's easy to digest uh, but going back to what it is that you value is important to decide whether it, it what the ramifications of growth will be so uh, and maybe that's changing the way that you'll grow so let's say um you know, if you grow or take on a new product or put out a new ebook, whatever it is, is that going to encroach on the time that you spend with your family? If that's something that you value, value you probably shouldn't grow in that way. And it was funny, I watched The View, as a lot of you know, <laughs> and Jenny McCarthy was on there talking about how her son put out a lemonade stand and uh, she said, you need to make this money to buy this toy or whatever he was buying. So he put out a lemonade stand and Jenny McCarthy thought he'd be out there all day selling his lemonade to earn the money for the toy, but he he came in after a couple of hours and Jenny McCarthy said, how did you make all the money you wanted? And he said, well, I realized that if I charged more for the lemonade, I wouldn't have to spend a couple hours out there or all day out there. I could just spend a couple hours. He, of course, said this in kid language. Um, but, you know, if a kid can get that idea, so can we. So how can you charge more money for a premium service versus 
you know, an everyday out for everyone type of a service. So think about little things like that as far as what if I grow and then you won't have the what ifs anymore because you know what your values are and you know what it is that you're doing that will align with your values. So the last one is what if I quit? This is a really hard one for a a lot of young female entrepreneurs because I feel like a lot of the what if gets you stuck, especially if you're in an online business and you don't have a brick and mortar lease payment. If you're just paying $15 a month, it's hard to quit because you're not sacrificing anything other than the fact that you have that mental energy there and you feel like people are expecting you to be there. But remember that our age, millennials, most people don't last in a job more than two years. You choose to move on and choose to do fo- you choose to focus on other things. And a lot of companies actually emphasize that you move on too, whether it's into a new position or that it is moving on to a new company. So don't be afraid to quit if that's what you're feeling like you need to evaluate. And what I would say if you're in that point of what if I need to quit to go back to your values, the problem you're solving um, and the baby steps you can take. So evaluate why you're thinking about quitting and is it because of money or that if it's because of traction, like think about all those things, but really it's more of the encompassing of everything. So what are your values? Why is it that you're doing this? So going going back to the um, start with why, where is that book? Another book that all of you hopefully have read. I can't find it on my bookshelf behind me right now. But anyway, Start With Why by Simon Sinek says that everyone should start with their why and figure out why it is that they're doing not only for marketing copy, copy, but for growing a business. Why is it that you're doing it? How is it aligning with your different values? If it's not aligning with your different values, change or drop it. Um, Pivot, if I should use the right entrepreneurial term. Um, second thing is problem you're solving. Look at the problem that you're solving. Are you solving it in the right way? If you're not solving a problem, again, reevaluate, change, or drop it. And then the third thing is baby steps. Rather than quitting, could you take small steps to make a different change or to make to do something else? Maybe keep the current site that you have open and start something else to see if it's something that'll pick up better. Does that make sense? So again, we talked about the what ifs. We talked about what if I start, what if I change, what if I grow, and what if I quit. Hopefully that was interesting. Again, this is a new format for YFE Chat, so it's 6.34. We went a little bit long. Um, But what I'm going to do after this is we're going to wrap up the show, and I'm going to go back on Twitter. So if we had a guest, um, the guest would probably sign off, or she would be invited to hang out at our after party, which if you're part of YFE Chat for the last, like, six months, you'll know that we used to have an after party where Stacey and I would chat and have fun so this part the next 15 minutes would just be basically what are your takeaways and um how can we share that how can we each take each other's takeaways and grow based off of that because it's more than the guest and their advice and their experience it's about yours because it's just as important just because the guest is being featured does not mean that she's necessarily any better than you who are who is watching so uh yeah thank you so much for showing up live and for testing this out i'm so so grateful so one of the things that i'm doing is i'm doing a daily vlog over on my personal channel and i would love if you guys wanted to follow over there it's a little bit entrepreneurship a little bit pop culture fun stuff my family personal stuff so you can subscribe using the link below and then of course the yfe youtube channel this is a great way to stay on top of replays and also find out when our next live webcast is because again this is just using youtube live Um, and then i also use for anyone that is interested in doing a live webcast like this where we switch out the the lower thirds and do certain things like ooh, look here's a shark tank visual i forgot to do um just a an fyi i use something called wirecast um and i forget it's the same company that does that screen sharing software that we also have um it's a great tool to use and it use it goes straight to uh youtube live So anyway, after this, I'm going to put it up on iTunes and YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe to our iTunes channel too. Thank you all so much for showing up live. And I hope to see you back here next Thursday. Stay for the after party. Add your comments below if you're watching this later so we can get your feedback on the new format and also your feedback on the what ifs. What stage of what if are you in? Are you in a what if? Or are you like the Ask Vasavi fan club and you don't have any what ifs because you're taking action now. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.